Hi everyone, uh, it's Vicki from the Ceramics Area at Soul Studio. Um, today we're going to do a little video about how to sculpt something out of dough. Um, we're going to make a really easy dough recipe. It's just three ingredients, flour, water, and just a teeny bit of salt. Um, if you don't have the salt, don't worry about it. Um, we are, we have some tools that we'll need as well. Um, they're, they're pretty optional. We're pretty much just going to use our hands. Um, but if you have a rolling pin, great. We'll use that. If you have something like this, this is just a skewer. Um, that would be great too. If you have like a toothpick or even maybe a sewing needle, um, that would be, that would be great too. Um, and if you have a paintbrush, perfect. Um, I'm just going to use my finger cause I unfortunately don't have a paintbrush here. Um, and then some parchment paper would be great. Um, we are going to bake our bread. Um, so if you want to eat your sculpture at the end of the day, you can. Um, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. So, uh, you're going to need an oven. And if you can use your oven all on your own, great. If not, uh, definitely ask your parent or your guardian for some help, okay? So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is actually preheat our oven to 425. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we have two cups of flour. We have three quarters of a cup of just uh, lukewarm water, and then we just have a little bit of salt. I'm going to use this stand mixer here. If you don't have one of these, that's perfectly fine. Just use a big mixing bowl and a wooden spoon and it should be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, add all my ingredients in there. And again, it's three quarters of a cup of water. So I add a half a cup and then my one quarter of a cup. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. I really don't need much. And it's just for taste, so if you're not planning on eating your bread sculpture, don't worry about it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this dough up until it's nice and solid, nice and firm. Okay, and that should be good. So what I'm looking for here is dough that's soft, but doesn't necessarily stick to my hands. So if you guys can see in the bottom of this mixer, I have, whoop, um, I just have some little extra pieces in here and on the mixing blade too, and this will probably be the same on your spoon. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of this stuff off of here and put it in the bowl and then just kind of push it all together with my hands. And if you don't like the feeling of this of this aha, dough, not clay, uh, on your hands, feel free to wear gloves. You don't need to necessarily um, be touching the dough with your skin if it's uncomfortable for you. Gloves are perfectly fine. So as you guys can see right now, our dough is a little, um, it's just kind of a little textured. We wanna get this nice and smooth. So what we're gonna do is once I'm done just kind of working all that dry ingredients into our dough. I'm just gonna kind of roll it around on the countertop to get it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna start sculpting. So I'm just gonna roll this and kind of rock this back and forth to really integrate all that dry material into my dough. And what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of picking the dough up and then pushing it back down. Uh, anyone that's been in our studio before has seen me do this, it's called wedging. Um, and if you're not great at figuring out this motion, that's okay. You can even just kind of roll it back and forth like this with a little bit of pressure. Just kind of anything to get that dough nice and smooth. As you can see, it's getting much smoother than it was before. So today what we're gonna do is actually sculpt a face. And this doesn't necessarily have to be your face or even a person's face. If you wanna make an animal's face or um, I don't know, a mythical creature's face, that's perfectly fine with me. 
I'm gonna split our dough in half and I'm just gonna do that by tearing it. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just start to kind of flatten it out. And it doesn't need to be really, really thin, but if you just wanna take a rolling pin and just very gently roll that dough out and smooth it out, you can. But I'm just gonna use my hands. Um, and this is also where your parchment paper comes in handy. So if you want, you can use parchment paper. If you don't want to, you could just take a little bit of flour and just put it on the on your work surface. And that's gonna keep that dough from sticking. Because we are gonna add a little bit of water to this while we're sculpting it. So we wanna make sure that if we add too much, it doesn't stick. Okay, so the first thing that I have here is just kind of a oblong, kind of oval, but it's really, it's the shape of someone's face. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I've got a nice line down here for the chin and a nice kind of flat section up here for maybe the top of the head or maybe where the forehead is. So. The great thing about dough is it works just like clay. So if you've done clay sculpting before or if you used Play-Doh, this is probably going to be pretty easy for you. I have all my extra dough here, so that's what I'm going to kind of pull from to get um, extra or small pieces of dough to make our facial features. The first thing I'm going to start with is just two eyes. And I'm going to make them not quite perfectly round, but sort of almond shaped. And keep in mind too that this dough is going to puff up a little bit. It's not gonna rise like a loaf of white, bre white bread would, um, but it is going to move a little bit as it bakes. So you don't have to worry too much about getting perfect detail. If you wanna spend a lot of time really making everything perfect, feel free to. Just keep in mind that you may lose some of that detail when, uh, the, when the bread actually cooks. So I have a little container of water here um, and this is just what I'm gonna to use to attach things. So if you remember from ceramics, we use slip. We score and we slip. We don't have to worry about uh, slipping our clay here or even scoring it, but we're just gonna use a little bit of water to attach our dough balls to our main piece of dough. So I'm just gonna stick those down and I'm not gonna push them too much because I don't want them to lose their shape, but I just want them to attach. Next thing I'm gonna do is pull a little bit of dough off of here, that's way too much, um, and just try to roll out some skinny coils to make two lips for the mouth. And if you have kind of a butter knife or um, just something a little bit sharp. Even our toothpick will probably work um, to just cut some of these pieces. That can help quite a bit. So I'm just gonna sculpt this so that it's pointy on either end and just shape that around there for the bottom part of our mouth. And then I'm gonna take this other little extra piece of dough and shape it around there for the top. So as you can see, they don't stick that well if there's no water on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of water and attach these two lips together. Just like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more water just to the bottom part of our face and add those lips to the face. Looks a little bit like a duck right now, but I promise it'll get better. <laughs> you can always come back in here with our toothpick and try to give some of these sections just a little bit cleaner detail. I 
I'm definitely going to try to make this a happy face. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get a nose, some hair, and give a little bit of detail to those eyes. So for a nose, I'm just going to start with a little ball. And then I'm actually going to shape it kind of into a triangle like that. So I'm just taking kind of my index finger and my two thumbs and pushing equally on that piece of clay so that I can make a nice triangle like that. Add a little bit of water to the center and go ahead and stick that right in there. And if you're trying to make a certain person, this is a really good point to just remember that everyone's facial features are a little bit different. So this nose is kind of a medium-sized nose. These eyes are pretty big. The lips are pretty big too. If you're making someone specific, really take a look at their facial features. Do they have small eyes? Are they close together? Are they wider apart? Um, are their lips bigger or are they smaller? Um, how much space is in between the eyes and the tip of the nose? So that we can really try to capture some of that, uh, some of the real person that you're looking at. If you're not trying to make anyone specific, just have fun and don't worry about where the facial features go. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip two really small pieces off of here and I'm gonna just roll them into small equal size balls as well. And these I'm actually gonna use as pupils for the eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water, put it on either eyeball and then stick those on top and I'm pretty much gonna flatten them out. Now I'm gonna take my skewer and I'm just going to poke a little hole right in the middle. Give the face a little bit of life. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the nose. And smooth some of that out. Okay, so next, this face needs some hair um, and my hair has a lot of volume and is really curly. So I'm gonna rip some of this clay off of here and start to just kind of make a rough, long tube. Um, and the good thing about clay, or I'm sorry, the good thing about dough versus clay is dough is really elastic. So we can really kind of tug on it and pull it where clay sometimes would just rip. So I'm going to just start to pull some of this around here. And don't forget, I didn't put any water down yet because I don't want my clay to, st or my, uh, <laughs> my dough to stick just yet. I just wanna see how much I need first. And I'd say that looks pretty good to me, at least to start. So what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm just gonna add some water around this edge here. Not too much, because you'll keep in mind, I'm not using any parchment paper, so if this edge of my dough gets really wet, it's gonna stick to my countertop. The flour is gonna help, but still, when we pick this up and put it on a baking sheet, we wanna try to not mess up all the work we just did. So just be considerate with the water, don't use too much. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and press all of this dough down so that it really sticks to that dough underneath it. And I think I need a little bit more. Whoa, sorry about that. And hopefully you guys remember from the studio, I have really curly hair. So what I'm gonna try to do here is just kind of pull this dough and just kind of pinch it and even tear it a little bit to make this look a little bit more like my crazy hair. And this can be kind of the fun part too. 
It's also a really good way to test if you used enough water because your dough isn't going to pull off from the other piece if you connected it well. So now you can see this face is really getting some volume with this hair. And I'm even going to go in there with my skewer and just kind of poke some holes in here and kind of pull some of that dough to really get some of that hair kind of swooping away from my face like I'm fair faucet. And again, just to remind you guys, this dough is gonna puff up a little bit. So I may lose a little bit of this, um, a little bit of this texture, but hopefully I won't. Okay, so I would say that looks pretty good to me. Um, okay, so I have our baking sheet here, and I'm actually just gonna use a spatula to help me get this face off of my countertop and onto my baking sheet. I'm just gonna slowly pry up the back and then scoop my spatula underneath of here to help me lift the face up and put it right back down. That's pretty good. Let's get her in the oven, see how it goes. And there she is, my friends. Um, keep in mind, this piece of bread went in the oven for 20 minutes. It's pretty thick, but it's also pretty done. Um, if yours is thinner than this, I would say keep it in the oven under 20 minutes. If it's over, if it's thicker than this, either in the hair or in certain spots around the facial features, keep it in for maybe 25 minutes. Um, and again, that oven is at 425. It's all preheated and ready to go. Okay, my friends, that's it. You did it. You made it through the first tutorial. Um, if you have made it through this tutorial, if you've made something that you feel like sharing, we would love to see it. Whether it's perfect, whether it's not, doesn't matter. Share it with us. We would love to see what you guys are working on. Um, have a good weekend. Have a good rest of your week. Stay safe, st stay healthy, and hopefully we'll see you soon.